From a single microscopic cell, a human being emerges. It is a process of astonishing complexity. Each of us began this way, a tiny collection of instructions becoming a living, breathing person. Think about the miracle of conception. Two cells meet and fuse into one, brimming with potential. This first cell divides, multiplying exponentially. It is on its way to the uterus, where it will develop for the next nine months. The first week is a period of rapid travel and transformation. The tiny ball of cells, now called a blastocyst, embeds itself in the uterine lining. This process, called implantation, is crucial. It sets the stage for the developing embryo to receive nutrients and oxygen from the mother's body. The blastocyst is not just a clump of identical cells. It starts to differentiate. Cells take on specialised roles. Some will become the placenta, the lifeline between mother and embryo. Others will form the amniotic sac, a protective fluid-filled bubble. And within this tiny sphere, a group of cells begins to form the embryo itself. The journey from a single cell to a multicellular blastocyst is remarkable. It is a dance of division, differentiation and growth, all happening within the first week after conception. It is a quiet, invisible beginning, yet it sets in motion a cascade of events that will shape a human life. The second week is about securing the connection between mother and embryo. The placenta produces human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG. This hormone is detected by pregnancy tests. It signals to the mother's body that a new life is growing. Inside the blastocyst, the inner cell mass organizes into two layers. These layers will form all the tissues and organs of the baby. It is a remarkable feat of organization. Week three marks a critical transition. The embryo transforms from a two-layered disc into a three-layered structure. This process, called gastrulation, is a defining event in early development. Each layer will give rise to different parts of the body. The ectoderm, the outermost layer, will form the skin, nervous system and sensory organs. The mesoderm, the middle layer, will develop into muscles, bones and the circulatory system. The endoderm, the innermost layer, will give rise to the digestive system, lungs and other internal organs. Imagine a tiny, flat sheet of cells folding in on itself. That is essentially what happens during gastrulation. It is a complex and elegant process, orchestrated by a symphony of molecular signals. These signals tell cells where to go, what to become, and how to connect with each other. Week 4 marks a time of rapid growth and the formation of rudimentary organs in the embryo. It begins to take on a more recognisable shape, now about the size of a poppy seed. Yet it's clear that this is no longer just a cluster of cells. The neural tube, destined to become the brain and spinal cord, begins to close. The heart starts to form and beat, though it's still very early in its development. We also see the beginnings of the digestive system, including the stomach and intestines. Surrounded by a yolk sac, which provides nourishment in these early stages, the embryo shows small buds that will develop into arms and legs. Despite its minute size, the embryo is growing rapidly, about a millimetre each day. It is a testament to the incredible power of this tiny cluster of cells to organise and build a complex organism. Section 6. Week 5. The heartbeat begins. By week 5, 
the embryo is about the size of a sesame seed. It is still incredibly small, but it is growing rapidly. The heart, now a tiny tube, starts to beat regularly. This heartbeat can be detected on an ultrasound, offering the first tangible sign of life growing inside the womb. The brain continues to develop at an astounding rate. It forms distinct regions, laying the foundation for future cognitive abilities. The eyes and ears begin to develop, as do the facial features. The nose pit and lens placodes, precursors to the nose and lenses of the eyes, are now visible. The umbilical cord, the lifeline between the embryo and the placenta, is now fully formed. It transports nutrients and oxygen from the mother's bloodstream to the developing baby. The placenta also filters out waste products, acting like a miniature kidney. Section 7 Week 6 to 7 Tiny features emerge. During week 6 and 7, the embryo undergoes a period of rapid development. It grows from the size of a lentil to the size of a blueberry. Limbs bud into tiny arms and legs, complete with tiny fingers and toes. These tiny appendages are still developing, but they are already recognizable as human hands and feet. The embryo's head is now larger than its body, reflecting the rapid growth of the brain. Facial features become more distinct. The eyes, which started on the sides of the head, move closer together. The nostrils become more defined, and the upper lip and jaw begin to form. Internally, the organs continue to mature. The lungs develop branching airways, preparing for their role in breathing. The liver and kidneys become functional. The intestines, which initially grew outside the body in the umbilical cord, start to move into the abdomen. Section 8 Week 8 A person in progress By week 8, the embryo officially graduates to the fetal stage. It is now about the size of a raspberry, measuring about an inch long. It has all the essential organs in place, although they are still developing and maturing. The fetal heart beats rhythmically, pumping blood through its tiny body. The brain is developing rapidly, forming the complex network of neurons that will govern movement, thought and sensation. The fetus can even make small movements, although the mother cannot yet feel them. The transformation from a single cell to a fetus in just eight weeks is nothing short of remarkable. It is a testament to the intricate choreography of development, the power of genetic instructions and the sheer audacity of life itself. Section 9 A Miraculous Symphony The first eight weeks of human development are a symphony of biological events. From a single cell, a complex human being begins to emerge. It is a dance of division, differentiation and growth. These early weeks are a time of extraordinary vulnerability. The developing embryo is highly susceptible to environmental influences. Everything from the mother's nutrition to exposure to toxins can impact development. It is a reminder of the precious and delicate nature of life. So hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and let's turn the page on a new adventure together. Get ready to experience books like never before. Only on VBook 360 like, comment, and share to support the channel and keep the video magic alive. Thank you for stopping by. And remember, every video has a story, and every story deserves to be shared. See you in the next video.